What's up Chosen Nation? I am back with another video. Today's video I'm going to take you guys through um, what I usually do in terms of researching uh, how much I can give a motivated seller in the case that they hit me up. Now today is the day after Mother's Day. I'm not sure when I'm dropping this video. I got a pipeline of videos, right? But um, today is the day after Mother's Day, right? So May 11th. Um, it's a Monday and someone just texted me. All right, from a postcard that I sent them last year. Trust me, I know, I know, because him and I have been in contact. Um, but um, so what I'm saying is, I, I, I'm going to use this example because don't lose hope. Listen, man, <laughs> when God is on your side, you can do whatever you want. These, some of these people are hanging on to these postcards, man. So don't lose faith. Don't lose doubt. You never know. Don't don't ever quit and be like, well, you know, or, or ever say like, oh, you know, well, you know, they didn't call me within two months. You know, you never know. These people will keep your postcard. And with God's help, this person will just pick up. The, even if they get 10, you never know. They might pick up yours. You know, well, I trashed everybody else's, but I kept yours. I hear that all the time. This is a perfect example. I'm going to go over it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you guys. The call rail text message that I that I received, I used the software called Call Rail for them to call me, and this is from the unknown equity list. Okay, and uh, that list we pull from ListSource.com, one of my favorite favorite top lead generators, hands down. I will always stand by ListSource. I really want to 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 take own part ownership in their um in their business. That that's how much I like it. I'm, I'm telling you, that, that is how much I like ListSource.com. you got to check out ListSource if you haven't. Uh, I know there's a bunch of software out there, but I stand firmly because I've closed deals, y'all, with ListSource.com. Trust me when I say, all right? So let's get right into this video. Okay, guys, so uh, I just got this message today from this guy. Um, and uh, I was going to show you the text message, to be honest, but I don't know if I should be showing his information. It's fresh. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to get any prank calls and all that. I have his, his information. Like I said, I use CallRail. All right. So I'm just going to type in the property that he gave me. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you how I, how I come up with my numbers. All right. This is fresh. Like I said, this guy called me from a postcard that I gave him last year. He held on to it. So like I said, anything is possible when you have God on your side all day, every day. All right. All you got to do is believe and keep the faith. Keep shooting your shot, a.k.a. send out some mail or call up some people, whatever. You feel me? Um, and obviously, the more you shoot your shot, the more probability you, I mean, you're going to get something back. You know what I'm saying? If you shoot your shot many times enough, you'll get something in return. I'm just I feel like that's just how the world works. You know what I'm saying? All right. So the address here is. 736 Vinland, Vinland, however you pronounce it, Road. Um, and this is a part of Orlando, but it's Winter Garden, but it, it's a part of the whole Orlando sector. Winter Garden is an up and coming town, let me tell you. All right. Very nice properties there. So the estimate is 138,000. You all, you cannot go by that, right? So what did I do? I went to my best friend, Icomps. I told you about this site, y'all. This is the closest thing to the MLS, right? Icomps. Three bed, two bath. I don't see any square feet. I'm not sure what's going on. The year built, 1923. That's pretty old, right? Uh, 134,000. So if you come back here, okay, um, what we want to do is we want to see how much we can give this individual. Now, the first thing I did, because I'm telling you guys, the quickest thing to do, I mean, really, what you really can do, I went right to the calculator. I typed in 134,000. And I just split it in half times 0.5, right? I got 67,000. So in my mind, I can give this person, um, my first offer is going to be 67,000, right? But I want to double check that, a sanity check, right? Just saying, you could, you could just, that's kind of like the lazy approach. But if you want to double check that, you know what I'm saying? Watch this, 67,000, keep that in mind, right? Go back to Zillow, type in the address, right? Close that out. You want to go to sold, doesn't matter the price, doesn't matter, beds and bath, doesn't matter. You want to make it uh, pick on, uh, you want houses only, these are houses, right, single family, alright, you want the last 
square footage. I know his square footage is between 750 and 1250 square feet because I asked him. Okay. Um, sold in the last, I put six months. You could put 90 days. Play, play, play with this depending on how much you get. I wasn't getting a lot of information at 90 days, so I did six months. All right, boom. And I came up with this. You want to make sure you choose the cheapest properties first. These should be the cheapest, all right? So we have 82500 We have 110000 And we have 110000 the, the top three or the lowest three properties, okay? So you want to come here. You go to calculator. All right, let's do it. So 82 0.5 plus 110 plus 110 equals, all right, divided by 3 equals times 0.8, all right, that's 80,000 you can offer them. However, what I tell you, I 50%, so you want to multiply this by 0.85, your first offer should be 60, around 68,000. What was the other number we had? 67,000. Y'all see how that matches up? So your first offer, right? So initially your maximum allowable offer is 80,000, but you want to take um take 85% of that number. That should be your first offer. Always go low so you have room to negotiate, right? So we came up with the first offer of 68,000, which matches if you take the ARV, take this ARV and you split it in half. You get 67,000, same thing. So you have two methods. You can choose this method, the iComps method that I showed you. Look at my other videos. I'm not going to go over that again, okay? Or you have this other method, which my mentor taught me, where you take the lowest three properties, their average, and multiply that by 0.8. That covers repairs and everything, all right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my previous videos, all right? So this kind of sums it up. All right, this is, like I said, this is something I got today. The day after Mother's Day, somebody hit me up over a postcard that they held on to from last year. <laughs> That's why I have to go over this, you know what I'm saying? From last year, you feel me? Fresh. And I know we in COVID-19, but let me tell y'all, listen, the time to wholesale, if you're in a hot market, the time to wholesale is now. These, this, listen. If you go to this guy's property, look what it says here. His house went down by almost 5,000 in the last 30 days. The house market is going, this is, this is going to be, listen, people going to be wholesaling their houses, man. People going to be wholesaling their houses. Tell me, I'm telling you, this, this is the time right now. Don't be scared. You know what I'm saying? Take the precautions. But for people who are jumping ship, I'm not sure. This ain't the stock market. You know what I'm saying? This, I mean, this is. Trust, trust and believe. The time to do it is now. All right. This, this, this is, this is your time. This is your season right now. Start doing it. You're gonna see houses going to foreclosure and all that. The house market is gonna drop. All that. So, people are gonna be wholesaling their houses. Trust and believe. I'm, I'm, I. That's, that's what I believe. I don't, I don't think this is the time to. Um, I don't think this is a time where uh, wholesaling is not gonna come on the uprise. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a great time to wholesale. All right. Just take your precautions, believe God, and keep on grinding, keep on hustling, all right? Build your cash buyers list, keep connecting with these people, motivated sellers, shoot your shot, remain respectful, and trust God at all times, all right? The fact that this sell, this motivated seller held on to my postcard from last year, I'm mean, keep on saying that till I, till I really, really register to get it. It's in a fresh postcard. He held on to this for like a year. I know this because we've had communication. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I can't show you everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep this information private. But something like that, you know what I'm saying? That's that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and whether we do business or not, you know what I'm saying? We're not we're not there yet. Uh, my point is is that don't don't ever lose hope. You know what I'm saying? Just because you know, uh, <laughs> just because you know. Let me let me let me end this video, real quick. yeah. So. Don't ever lose hope, guys. Just because you're not getting the deal right away, that doesn't mean... Or just because they say no on the phone if you're cold calling, just take that as a not yet. You know what I'm saying? You want to go for no. You want to shoot your shot as many times. You know what I'm saying? And some some, some of these people do hold on to their posts because I know a lot of people say direct mail is dead because they throw them out and they trash them. And I, hear all those, I heard all those stories. 
you know how scared I was? I heard all those stories from Max Maxwell, who was who was my man. You know what I'm saying? Power to the people. And to hear him, you know, kind of say that direct mail didn't work out for him, that did discourage me a little bit. But I kept on going. I kept on believing God because my thing is, look, God, I mean, if it was possible, I wouldn't need you, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm on a mission impossible, so I got to use my faith and be that David and fight Goliath, so to speak, and be Peter and walk on water, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Or be Peter in the boat. I'm going to drop my, drop my net to get a, 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 a bunch of fish. You know, whatever. Like, all these stories in the Bible, hey, that's... It's, it's 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 cute or they're they're encouraging uh but at the same time you supposed to be shooting your shot and walking by faith as, as many times as possible as long as you're breathing you know what i'm saying you don't you know we're not here to be in our comfort zone we're here to reach higher limits and uh with god there is no limits you know what i'm saying so keep on keep on going don't give up keep on going Yo, you'll, you'll win if you never quit all right that's one of my favorite sayings that i've heard growing up you'll win if you never quit you never know you never know you never know but you just gotta you gotta keep the faith you know what i'm saying so don't get discouraged during these times all right i know a lot is going on but god got your back even now all right y'all stay blessed that's all i got peace out I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it. I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it. And with the Lord on my side, I know I can do it, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it. I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it. And with the Lord on my side, I know I can do it, I can do all things through Christ so I'm never losing. Man, I do it for my city, man, I do it for the poor. I'ma build trade schools for all the boys and girls, cause they need jobs too. Burger King doesn't cut it when you got rent due and trying to ball out on a budget. And I know people get big and they never look back, but I'm not other people, I do not. I follow the pack, count it up, do the math, I'm on a billionaire's path God gives me new ideas in my dreams, that's cash I invest in these shelters where the homeless live Wise enough to know that God blesses me to give That's why I rap the way I do, to represent Christ If God can save my soul, then I can save a life Wings of an eagle, we were meant to fly We gotta love on each other, remove all the strife I was born for